Top 10 Things to Do in Seoul Right Now Anyeong Haseyo, Adventurers Are you ready to dive into the heart of Seoul, South Korea? Seoul isn't just kimchi and K-pop. It's a city where ancient palaces rub shoulders with futuristic skyscrapers. Let's explore the top 10 electrifying things to do in Seoul right now. But before we dive into that, did you know that Seoul has some mind-blowing and slightly bonkers facts? Wi-Fi Wonderland In Seoul, Wi-Fi is like air. It's everywhere. The city's so connected, you could probably find a signal on the moon. Coffee Kingdom Starbucks Who? Seoul's coffee shop game is so strong, you'll start thinking espresso shots are part of the local diet. Fashion Frenzy Walk down any street, and you're basically strutting on a fashion runway. So lights have more style in their pinky than most have in their whole wardrobe. City that never sleeps, New York's got nothing on Seoul. Here you can party, shop, or eat at 3 a.m., and no one bats an eye. Palace meets skyscraper. Jayambakang Palace stands proudly amid modern skyscrapers, like a cool grandpa showing the youngsters how it's done. Kimchi Chronicles There's a whole museum dedicated to kimchi. That's right, a museum for spicy fermented cabbage. Only in Seoul, folks. Beauty Buffs Paradise if skincare were an Olympic sport, Seoul would take hold the gold every time. Get ready to glow. K-pop? Seoul invented it, bottled it, and sprinkles it on everything like magic fairy dust. Imagine K-Fees with Lati Art of BTS, stores blasting twice tunes, and enough kimchi fries to fuel a global dance party. Be warned, fangirling and fanboying is a Seoul sport, so pack your glow sticks and embrace the fandom. Do you know that Seoul, the vibrant capital of South Korea, was originally named Hanyang, but underwent a significant change in 1948? After the liberation from Japan's occupation following the end of World War II, the city's name transitioned to Seoul. This crucial moment also symbolized the termination of Japanese rule over Korean territory. Interestingly, Seoul's official name is Seoul Special City revealing a lesser-known fact about this historically rich metropolis. All right, here's an interesting tidbit. You've probably heard of Gangnam, especially thanks to Psy's 2012 hit song. But did you know that Seoul's most affluent district wasn't always a part of the city? Gangnam, which means south of the river, started as farmland providing for the northern residents. Since 1963, it has transformed into South Korea's cultural hub, hosting the K-beauty industry, music labels, and fashion designers. Now a bustling district, you can explore its shops and boutiques and stroll down K-Star Road, Seoul's version of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now let's talk about Seoul, the capital and largest city of South Korea. With a population of almost 10 million, about one-fifth of the Korean population, Seoul is considered a megacity because it has more than 10 million people. Nearly half of Seoul's residents, including Incheon and Gyeonggi, live in the national capital area. The Seoul capital area is the second largest metropolitan area globally, boasting over 25.6 million people, making it the sixth most populated city in the world. Despite covering only 0.6% of South Korea's land area of 610 square kilometers, Seoul is the seventh most crowded city globally. The Guinness Book of World Records recognizes the Bampo Grand Bridge in Seoul as the world's largest fountain bridge. Built by the Seoul Metropolitan Infrastructure Headquarters, this impressive bridge spans the Han River and measures 1,140 meters 3,740 feet 1 inch in length. The bridge features 380 nozzles along its length, spraying a remarkable 54 tons, 60 tons of water, both horizontally and vertically into the river every minute. In the evening, the bridge transforms into a captivating spectacle as LED lights illuminate the fountains, creating a dance-like display synchronized to 100 different pieces of music. It's a breathtaking sight where the water seems to be dancing with the rhythm of the music. If you visit the Lot Tower in Seoul at night, you might catch the exciting sound of a cheering crowd, because baseball is Korea's most popular professional sport. Seoul is home to three out of the country's 10 pro teams, LG Twins, Doosan Bears, and Kiwoo Heroes. Throughout the season, you can enjoy a baseball game nearly every day of the week. 
Even if you're not familiar with the rules, you'll quickly feel part of the team spirit, surrounded by energetic chants, lively cheerleaders, and delicious Korean snacks conveniently delivered to your seat. It's a fantastic experience to soak in the enthusiasm of Korean baseball culture. Now that we got your attention with those crazy soul facts, let's get down to business. If you're planning to visit or are in the capital city already and wondering what to do, stick around because we've got the ultimate soul itinerary lined up for you. If you have not already done so, we highly recommend you subscribe to our channel, as we will be making videos on all the major cities in the world. Number 1. Discover a different side of Seoul by taking a nighttime stroll along the Seoul Fortress Wall. It's a chance to see the city in a new light with breathtaking views after sunset. While many of these ancient stone walls, collectively known as Hanyang Dosong, have made way for modernization, there are still some well-preserved or restored sections. Your hike has various starting points, and the Mount Bugixin section is a hot favorite. This 2.3-kilometer adventure, complete with flat trail parts and a few stairs, guides you through the forest, leading to an observation spot where you can soak in the glimmering city lights. It's a perfect way to experience the magic of Seoul after dark. Number 2. After a day packed with exciting theme park rides, dazzling performances, and exploring the various zones in Seoul's lot world, don't miss out on the Let's Dream Night Parade for a jaw-dropping display of lights and fireworks. Picture aerial balloons, lanterns, flashy costumes, and a breathtaking fireworks show. Lot World at Night turns into a visual delight. Number 3. If you're hanging out near Dong Daemon Design Plaza DDP in the evening, make your way up to the rooftop garden once it gets dark. With a glowing garden of 21,000 liters ED roses adorning this cool futuristic city spot, you're in for a treat. Each rose is intricately detailed down to the peels, creating a magical sight. What's even better? This LED rose garden started as a special seasonal thing, but was so loved that now it's a permanent show. Number 4. Guess what? Right now, the fifth tallest building globally stands at a hopping 555 meters, reaching up towards the sky. And it's your ticket to some mind-blowing nighttime views of Seoul from way up high. This incredible skyscraper, a towering 123 stories, houses the Seoul sky on its top seven floors, giving you a jaw-dropping bird's eye perspective of the capital city. And get this, to reach the peak, hop on the Sky Shuttle, one of the fastest elevators out there, zooming up at speeds of up to 600 meters per minute. Number 5. If you're looking for a fantastic night out in Seoul, Myeongdong Night Market is the place to be. And the best part? It's super easy to get there by metro. By day, Myeongdong is already buzzing with shops and restaurants, but when the sun sets, it transforms into a bustling night market with over 150 stalls waiting to treat you to a feast of delicious street food, trendy fashion finds, and cool souvenirs. Seoul's food is a roller coaster for your taste buds. Whether you're into K-pop, pork belly, booze and fish cakes, or beauty products, this night market has got something for every taste and pocket. Seoul's motto is eat first, regret later. Number 6. Get ready for a comedy cooking show that has cracked up audiences worldwide since 1997. The Nanta Theater in Myeongdong is like the rock star of Korean theater, having performed over 50,000 times in 60 countries. It's a hilarious mix of slapstick and physical comedy. And the cool part is you don't need to speak Korean or English to enjoy it. There's minimal talking. Plus, lucky audience members get to join in on the fun. Although no worries, you might not end up on stage view. Find this laughter haven on the third floor of the UNESCO building along Myeongdong Walking Street, with shows happening twice a day. Number 7. If you want to dive into the local nightlife scene in Seoul, hitting up arcades or game rooms with your buddies is a total go-to move. Check out places like Zhang Games in Hongdae or spots in Gangnam and Myeongdong. They're massive and fun. Picture this. Racing games, dancing challenges, coin karaoke, claw machines, and more. Just don't challenge a local Ajuma auntie to a ballad battle. They'll eat you alive metaphorically, hopefully. It's a blast to hang out with friends in the lively city vibes of Seoul. The quick tip is to bring some cash because these machines only roll with coins. 
If you've got bills, no worries. There should be machines around to swap them for the coin fund. Game on. Number 8. You're in Seoul at night, and if you want the ultimate foodie experience, you can't miss out on some seriously awesome Korean fried chicken. They call it Daking Jung. It's all about those chicken wings or bunless bites drenched in a heavenly mix of spicy and sweet sauce, sometimes jazzed up with peanuts or sesame seeds. You could grab it from street stalls, but here's a pro tip. Pair that clucking good chicken with a nice pint of cold Korean beer, like Cass, at a craft beer bar. Number 9. So here's the movie scene in Seoul, the major theaters? Yeah, they're mostly chilling in shopping malls, and when it comes to screens, IMAX is just part of the deal, offering you the latest releases with mind-blowing pictures and sound. If you're hunting for one of the coolest cinemas, check out CGV Stereum in Times Square Mall. Why? Well, it's got the world's biggest cinema screen, certified by the Guinness World Records. Number 10. How about hopping on an E-Land cruise for a chill sunset ride along the Han River in Seoul? It's a breezy river cruise with a sweet audio guide, and you have many options throughout the day. Kick it off in the early afternoon, and if you're feeling that summer vibe, catch the sunset cruise at 6 p.m. They even throw in later rides, sometimes with dinner and live tunes. As we conclude our Seoul escapade, we've explored some of the city's most iconic and delightful experiences. But hold on tight because there's so much more to discover in the vibrant heart of South Korea. Whether you're into history, a food enthusiast, or just on the lookout for a fantastic time, Seoul has a little something for every adventurer. Drop a comment below and share which of the places you've already checked out, and feel free to suggest other cities you'd like us to explore next. Seoul is just waiting to unfold more of its exciting chapters. Bonus fact. In the heart of Seoul, an engineering marvel awaits. The world's longest escalator, an astonishing 214 meters in length, elegantly winds up Namsan Mountain. This isn't just a climb. It's a journey, offering a unique perspective of the city as you ascend. It's more than a convenient way to reach the top. It's an experience, a moving pathway that gracefully connects the bustling city life below to the serene views above. So step on and let this extraordinary escalator take you on a scenic ride, showcasing Seoul's blend of urban charm and natural beauty in one smooth glide. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more travel tips and entertaining facts. Cheers and happy exploring!